Hello everyone. In this session, I am going to discuss about the two non-dimensional numbers used in the transient heat transfer. Those are Biot number and Fourier number. This Biot number and Fourier number, two important non-dimensional numbers, non-dimensional less uh, non-dimensional numbers or a dimensionless numbers, which are used in the unsteady state or a transient heat transfer. Okay, those are related to the what the heat transfer or conduction is taking place by the unsteady state heat transfer. And these I am going to take the first their definitions and what are their expressions and the physical significance of these two numbers. The firstly we will take the Biot number. Biot number is given by HLC by K and that can be written as H by K by LC where H is the heat transfer coefficient and K is thermal conductivity and LC characteristic length which is given by volume to the area ratio. Here this solid body if you take and the conduction it is transferring within the solid body and from the body to the surrounding fluid or from the surrounding fluid to the convection heat transfer taking place. Related to that the Biot number is defined as convective heat transfer coefficient to the specific conductance. The H is a convective heat transfer coefficient and K by LC is a specific conductance. Thermal conduct conductivity per unit length is a specific conductance or this can be given as convection resistance. The resistance for the convection heat transfer to the conduction resistance. Okay, the conduction resistance what is offering within the that the solid and the convection resistance from the solid to the surrounding fluid. That ratio is the Biot number. The physical significance of Biot number is that the Biot number gives the relations between internal conductive resistance and convective resistance at the surface of the object. The relation it will give. Then lumped system analysis assumes a uniform temperature distribution. Okay, concern to this, the Biot number is used uh, for the analyzing the lumped system analysis. There, lumped system analysis assumes uniform temperature distribution throughout the body. That is a negligible internal temperature gradients. The variation of temperature within the solid body is not there. The uniform temperature is there throughout the body. Okay, here the uniform from, from the center to the surface, the temperature will be uniform, which implies that conduction resistance is zero. There is no resistance within the solid body. Because of that, the temperature will be uniform throughout the body. Thus, lump system analysis is exact when biot number is zero. The biot number, if it is exactly zero, the lump system analysis is applicable. Generally, Lumped system analysis is applicable when Biot number is less than 0.1. Here the Biot number is used to uh, decide whether the lumped system analysis is applicable or we have to use the transient temperature charts for analyzing the transient heat transfer or unsteady state heat transfer. If the Biot number is less than 0.1, we are going to use the lumped system analysis. If the Biot number is more than point number, then we have to use the transient temperature charts, which I am going to discuss in the next session. Those are also called as a, the charts which are developed by the Hisler, okay, which are used for the analyzing of the transient heat transfer. Next one is a Fourier number. Fourier number at time t can be viewed as the ratio of rate of heat conducted to the rate of heat stored at that time. Okay, here the Fourier number, the rate of heat conducted through the solid to the rate of heat stored in that solid. That is ratio whatever is there will take as a Fourier number. Okay, here that is a Fourier number is given by tau is equal to alpha t by L square. That is a Q conducted by Q stored. That is conducted heat conductive heat transfer to the stored heat, whatever is there within the solid body. That's the Fourier number that can be uh, denoted as the F naught or tau also. That given as the alpha t by L c square. And here 
where the alpha is equal to k by rho cp. Alpha is the k by rho cp, that is a thermal diffusivity. How much diffusion of the heat in, within the solid is taking place, that is given by the thermal diffusivity. Then T is time, this T is the time for which the heat is transferring or storing. The LC is the characteristic length, which is the volume to the area ratio. Then Fourier number, what is there, that can be given as the rate of heat conduction through the solid to the rate of thermal energy storage within the solid. Thus, by this definition, we can write its physical significance. Physical significance of Fourier number. The Fourier number is a measure of heat conducted through the body relative to the heat stored. Okay, there is a relationship that it will give the rate of heat conducted to the rate of heat stored. A large value of Fourier number indicates faster the propagation of the heat through the body. If the smaller number, the heat conduction will be less. And these two, Biot number and Fourier number, which are used in the analysis of the heat transfer by the transient, uh, in the transient heat transfer, either in the lumped system analysis or if you use the transient temperature charts, these both the numbers we are going to use. In the previously, I derived the expression for the lumped system analysis. There it will give the, that is temperature ratio is equal to E raised to minus biot number into Fourier number. And next, that is the use of transient temperature charts I am going to discuss. There these two numbers we are going to use that you will come to know. Thanks for watching. If you like, kindly subscribe and share.